Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within Excel, timelines are used to visually filter date-based data within pivot tables, pivot charts, and power pivot tables and charts. Timelines are not available for power view sheets. Timelines are simply date-based slicers. To insert a timeline into a worksheet, select one of these types of objects within a worksheet. Then click the Timeline button within the Filters button group on the Insert tab within the ribbon to open the Insert Timeline dialog box. This dialog box displays the names of any date-based fields within the associated tables of the selected object. Click to check the checkbox next to the name of the field by which you want to filter the data within a timeline. Then click the OK button to add a timeline for the selected object into the worksheet. You can click and drag the timeline panel around within the worksheet to reposition it if needed. You can also use the resizing handles that appear around the perimeter of the object to resize it if desired. The timeline displays buttons in a slider that represent time periods that cover the time values contained within the selected field. To filter the selected object, click the buttons within the slider to choose the associated date values to display within the associated object. The selected data object will then be filtered by your selection within the timeline and only display records for the current button selection. You can use the multiple selection technique of holding down the shift key on your keyboard and then clicking on multiple adjacent buttons within the timeline to select multiple adjacent timeline buttons to filter for multiple values if needed. You can also click and drag over the time periods you want to filter for only those dates as well. However, you cannot use the timeline to select multiple non-adjacent dates. You can clear any timeline filters applied by clicking the Clear Filters button in the upper right corner of the timeline panel. You can also click the Time Increments label shown in the upper right corner of the timeline and then select another time increment to display within the timeline from the drop-down menu that appears. To delete a timeline, simply click the Timeline pane to select it and then press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard to delete the selected timeline. Alternately, you may right-click on the Timeline pane and then select the Remove Timeline command from the pop-up menu to delete a timeline. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.